But we begin with shots fired during a chase that ended at a hospital in Dearborn with the suspect killing himself. The shooting incident was caught on dash cam. It started at a Melvindale woman's home with a showdown between her current boyfriend and her ex. 7 Action News reporter Saima Chowdhury explains how both police departments handled this delicate situation. It is a heart pounding video that Dearborn police released to give you a different perspective on what took place during last night's chase and shooting. Dearborn police strike this car to stop a suspect that's shooting at another driver. The incident started in Melvindale when an ex-boyfriend showed up at a woman's home. The suspect, Ruben Salinas, confronted the woman's current boyfriend and took out a gun. Minor altercation between the girlfriend and the suspect to uh, get the weapon away from him. That's when the victim jumped into his pickup truck and drove off. Police say the suspect followed in his car, driving as he was shooting at the victim's truck. We're told Salinas was a CPL holder and had a handgun and an AR-15 with him. It was discovered this morning that there was also a third gun tucked in the car. The victim called 911 and dispatchers notified both Melvindale and Dearborn police. Police followed closely behind, striking the suspect's car three times as he continued to fire shots. Our tactical training kicked in. We can never come up with every scenario, but our officers were trained well enough to think on their feet. It ended at Beaumont Oakwood's campus when the suspect turned the gun on himself. The victim was not seriously injured. Both Melvindale and Dearborn police are continuing to investigate. But with shots fired in a high-speed chase, this proved to be dangerous for all involved. In light of the fact that no one else was injured, uh, I think that we had the best day we could have on that, on that event. And police tell us the suspect did not have any prior arrests or convictions. In Dearborn, Simon Chowdhury, 7 Action News.